Okay, this is going to be a rather short video, but I haven't done anything in a while, so I figured I might as well try to do something. And what we're going to try to do is, so when we run this now, we have all this awkward spacing with the words, and I think I've found a way around that. The only thing that I'm worried about is, like, going off of there, the letters would just go to the next line instead of making the whole word go down, but I we can get that working. But first I'm just going to start off with getting it to actually line up like a normal string would. So, um, instead of all of this, just remove all of this. We'll use the same method for drawing it still. <coughs> And actually, yeah. And how do we uh, do what we just did? Okay, so we still need this. And, um, I don't think we need this. Okay. So, let's just get rid of this X thing. Or, no, we're not going to be adding one to X here. And, I'm trying to remember how we had all this set up. Well, actually, hold on. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta go to our main class because it extends Canvas. And we have to get this thing called font metrics out of it. So, the first thing we're gonna do is because we're using this font, we're just gonna like change this to a uh, variable called game font. And then public font game font. And then down here and initialize we can do game font equals and then paste that in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do public font trips font in and then control shift O to import that. And then over here in the init method under that we do font m get font metrics in the form. And the get font met metrics method comes from canvas, which is why we need to do that here. And then over here, let's put public font metrics font in. And then we'll pass it in as a required variable here. So font metrics and do font and equals fm. And then this will give us the error over here, which will show us where we need to fix this. And we, we're going to want to do this later. Now we're going to want to do this in the initialize method. We might as well do all of this in the initialize method. And just close that. So down here in the initialize, we'll just do all of this and pass in font m. Now what font metrics is going to allow us to do is get the length of a string that big. So um, instead of this, it's just going to be plain x. And we still need this y position. The Y positioning is fine, so just leave that alone. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And right here, we don't need that. And we don't need that. 
change that to x. So now what we're going to do is if this, otherwise if not that, then x plus equals fm dot Oh wait, no, we'll, we'll do that after we draw this. So down here we're going to do x plus equals fm dot fontm dot get um, string width and c. And it requires it to be a string, so just add an empty string to the end of that. And let's see what that does. That is much better, because now it's all evenly spaced out. So yeah, I think that's how it's going to be for now. Now, let me show you what I was worried about though. See, now this allows us to like, when we're typing eyes, they're not all separated crazily. But the thing is, if we have like a word that went off the screen, I'll try to illustrate it better. So, if we're like, hi, my name is Bob, or Nob. You see how it goes off the screen? What we would preferably want to do is to jump down the next line. But I'll get to that later because I have some stuff that I need to be doing and I just wanted to try this out and see if it would actually work, which is did, and that's great. So if you want to so this is gonna be the end of this video. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, like it. If there's anything about Java that you want to know that's pretty simple that's simple and it's not gonna take me lots of videos to cover, like maybe one or two at most, then leave a comment and I'll cover that in my uh, other tutorial section and then I also need like a pathway for this game to follow because I'm not going to be able to come up with a whole game on my own so I'm going to need like a storyline to follow so if anyone has any ideas for that it'd be really cool if you could leave like comments with it or maybe um, post some sort of link that I could follow I know YouTube doesn't allow you to post links, but everyone's found ways around that, so you could just do that. But anyway, thanks for watching.